Hey guys, it's Melissa Martini on behalf of FontBundles.net and DesignBundles.net. Today for Design School, we're going to be talking about the trace options in Silhouette V4. There is Regular Trace, Trace by Color, and Magnet Trace. Today I will be using the Business Edition of Silhouette. In order to use the Trace by Color and Magnet Trace, you will require the Designer Edition. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and go on the right hand panel and select your trace box. We're going to do select trace area and just put a box outside of our design. Okay, we are just doing the regular trace. So the first thing you'll notice about V4 is that the high pass filter is automatically off. We used to have to go and manually turn this off in V3 and now it's already done for us. We're going to adjust the threshold so that the whole image is selected. Okay, and once we have everything selected, we'll just go ahead and hit trace. And whenever we click on our original image and move it, you can see our new trace image sits right here behind it. And if we were to fill it in with color, it's gonna be all one solid color. Okay, now let's take a look at our second option. So on this one, we're gonna do trace by color. And the first color we're gonna to wanna to pick is the yellow. So we're gonna go ahead and do solid fill and play with the tolerance until only the yellow is selected. Right now you can see it has a bit, let's zoom in some. And you can see the lines here around the outside of the green and we wanna get rid of that. So we'll just lower the tolerance down a bit until only the yellow leaves are selected. And then we'll hit trace. And now we're gonna do trace by color again click on the green. Once again, we're going to lower the tolerance until only the green is selected and then just hit trace. And now whenever we zoom out, we're going to move our original image out of the way. When we select here on this bow, we're going to turn it to a red color. This is going to be a nice, fun, Christmassy wreath. Now we'll pick on the outline here and make it a green color. And now we've turned this springy fall type wreath into more of a Christmassy design. Okay, the third trace option that we have is going to be actually for a pattern. This one's magnet trace. It allows you to just take a piece out of a pattern that you're wanting to use. So I have a pattern over here. We'll just pull it over into our screen. Let me minimize it just a bit. And then we're just gonna come over here and select magnet trace. Now, this is just like dropping little points to create your cut line. The only difference is that instead of having to subtract everything from the cut line after you're finished, the software will do it for you. So you can go in and just take pieces out of a pattern and use them for your design. I'm going through this one pretty quickly. You can zoom in to make this more precise and more accurate, but you do want to make sure that it is connected at the end. So this right here, when it connects, you'll get a box around it and we'll just hit trace. And whenever you do that, you can take your original move out of the way. And now you have this fun little lightning bolt that you have created yourself over here that you can now use in your design. Okay guys, I hope that answers all of your questions you have about the new trace options that are in Silhouette V4. If you have any comments, suggestions, questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe for future videos. Have a great day.